Welcome back. It has been 20 years since Tina Fey brought an instantly iconic group of mean girls to life on the big screen. All right. Since then, the plastics have gone on to dominate pop culture from new national holidays to the Broadway <laughs> stage. And now, guess what? Tina's bringing the story back to movie theaters with a musical twist. Plus, she is reprising her role as the beloved math teacher, Mrs. Norbury. Take a look. Katie, hi. I'm Ms. Norbury. I'll be your homeroom teacher. This is your roster. I see you also have you for AP Calculus. You must have had excellent teachers at your old school. Oh, I was homeschooled. Homeschooled? Oh, that's a fun way to take jobs from my union. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> Modern twist, you could do yes. Tina. What made you want to bring this project back one more time? Well, we had had so much fun on the Broadway musical, and yeah. then we were running, and audiences were loving it, and then we shut down during the pandemic. Mm. Uh, and I just sort of knew that there was, I wanted more people to see, you know, what we had made. And then this opportunity to take the, our favorite parts of the Broadway musical and then bring them back into yeah. a cinematic form, uh, it definitely doesn't feel like a filmed Broadway show. It's very... Uh, it's very like music video style mm, shooting. It's, it feels very fresh. Um, our directors did a really, really great job. And yeah, I'm, I'm hoping I was, kind, time. I was kind of joking because you know, they always talk about like the Marvel comic yeah. universe yeah, and yeah. this. This is the Mean Girl universe. Yes. I mean, we've had a movie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then we had a Broadway mm -hmm. musical. Mm -hmm. Now we have a movie with music. Are yeah. you going to do a cooking line in fashion as <laughs> Absol well? Absolutely. I think women, we need to declare our projects universes. Yes, it's, uh -huh. it's a yes. universe. I mean, yes. but honestly, you also keep tweaking it to keep up yeah. with the times. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is really funny. Like, what a gift. Like, sometimes you write something and 20 years go by and you go, oh, I wish maybe we hadn't said that. Mm -hmm. And what a gift to be able to open the hood and, like, you know, fix things up a little bit. It was kind of fun to see Lindsay Lohan on the red carpet. I think a lot of people were like, oh, my God. And then we were wondering... It's like, does Lindsay or any of the old cast members who aren't featured, are they going to have little cameos well, in this? Well, as you saw in that clip, Tim yeah. is there with me. Yeah, of course. Um, which was a great comfort to me because yeah. I was like, well, if I'm going to do it, <laughs> you're if too. Tim's with me. And he's still so funny. And unfortunately, he's aging a little too well. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't want to stand next to you either. But um, I don't know. You have to come see. <gasps> there are, there are you know, wonderful surprises throughout the movie, I'd say. Um, oh. But just, yeah, you got to come on Friday. But okay. now your kids are, you are a cool mom. Let's just say that we know. Yes. That you Absolutely are, not. But your kids don't think so. You have she's your oldest is eighteen, and then you have a twelve year old. But did yeah. they help you? Like, did, you know, every now and then I would kind of run stuff by them and be like, you know, hey, should the burn book still be a physical book or should it be like a website? <laughs> and they're like, no, it's a book. <laughs> is it a PDF? <laughs> is it should it be? Yeah. What what's cool now? PDFs, right? <laughs> Everyone's into PDFs. Um, so and yeah, and then I think you know with Chris Briney who plays Aaron Samuels. Um, uh, there was, there was, I will admit, one final casting session where it was on a Zoom, and I sort of like, you know, did the things we teach kids not to do, which is like put my phone up to the Zoom. I was showing, and I was like showing twelve of my daughter's friends, and like, do you, this guy <laughs> is he a babe? And it was, and it was like a. Yes! Oh, violent, yes. By the way, we had Christopher Briney on yesterday, yeah. and he is, like, loving this role. And he's got kind of that unassuming look. We asked him what he was like in high school, and he said he was kind of a theater geek. And I was wondering about you in high school. Yeah, I mean, Stroll I was definitely was kind of a theater geek, mm -hmm. absolute dork. It, there you I mean, are. look is at me. Is that your prom? That you? that's, no, that's my brother. Uh, that's oh, me and that's my brother. Oh. No, I did not take my brother to prom. Uh, I will draw the line there. No, that, look, that. Look, oh, my God. By the way, that dress, I was like, this dress is, is banging. <laughs> so <laughs> what were you like in high school? I just was a good student. I mean, I had, I definitely was, you know, the character in the movie that I sort of admit that I identify with is Janice a little bit because I do think I talked a lot of smack about people oh. that I thought that I was like the victim in every situation. And really, I was a monster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, Tina, you're amazing. We love, thank you for bringing the Mean Girls. Just, just do something every year. Every just a year. new iteration every year. We love it. Thank Tina, you. I have to ask you, Lauren, I was just thinking about Lauren Michaels. He yes. said he was going to retire. He's, he may, well, he's well, not going to retire. He's not retiring. He's his own universe. He is. He's the Lauren Michaels universe. But if universe. he did retire. If he did, was there any chance <laughs> Some people be, think that you could replace some him. Some people are thinking that. Y'all better pass. <laughs> People Stop. are talking about it. That's no. what people say, no? No, ma'am. Okay. Mm -mm. All right, girl. He has an elixir, and he will live forever. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to just give a reminder. Mean Girls, I want to see it in theaters. I do, too. And it's going to be this Friday. By so the way, I was about out. to wrap up the interview, and you got Dateline well, Hoda. You know what? On you know the SNL, Laura Michaels. I just want you to know it wasn't me. It wasn't Savannah. <laughs> it was. I'll take full blame. My sister. <laughs> All right.
Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.